What's going on, smart people? My name is Andrew, and today is a very special day because it is my last day of undergrad. And to celebrate this final day of undergrad, my professor was nice enough to give me a celebratory final exam in programming. I have that in just a couple hours, actually. How very thoughtful of my professor to do that. Just kidding, if I see you on the street, we're going to battle. It's really not gonna be that bad, though. I mean, the way that these tests have gone for this class, first of all, it's in C++. But normally for these tests, they're multiple choice, and they'll give you some code, and then ask you what happens if you compile the code. So you're not allowed to have a laptop or anything like that, so you can't compile it yourself to see what happens. That would kind of defeat the purpose. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's just seeing that you know the theory, I guess you could say, behind the code. But after this test, that is the last thing I will have to do for undergrad. I graduate in four days, and then I'll be qualified to answer questions like, is, is math, math related, related to, to science? science? For those of you who might be new, I am graduating in four days with my degree in physics, which basically means I know enough physics to know that astrology is bullshit, but not enough physics to get paid anywhere to do research aside from internships. feel like I triggered someone with the astrology comment, but <laughs> such a Leo thing to say. <laughs> but anyways, this whole this being the last day thing is good timing because tomorrow I start my second research internship. Uh, and it's relating to QCD. And that might sound very vague, but that's because I really haven't found out too much about it yet. That's sort of what tomorrow is for. I'm driving up to Jefferson Lab, and I'm going to meet with my new advisor, and he's going to give me the lowdown of what to expect for the summer. So spastic joke-making Andrew aside, this final isn't going to be too bad. It's cumulative, but it's... We really haven't gotten that in-depth with C++. My computational physics class was much more demanding, numerically speaking. Um, not to mention, in computational physics, I did that in Python. And like I just said, this is in C++. And overall, I've got to say I'm still Team Python. Maybe it's because I'm still pretty new to C++, but it's just frustrating when, you have, when you're reading like 200 lines of code and 70 of those lines is just declaring function prototypes or just declaring variables as a whole. I just found like C++ is kind of frustrating to find where the code actually starts sometimes. I just think that Python lets you get straight to the point right away, which I really like about it. But I know some people find it a little limiting because uh, sometimes you don't know what's going on in the background with Python. But that's just a personal preference thing. In the end, I'm glad to have experience with both. But it's time for me to go take that final. Let me know in the comments section. Are you team Python or are you team C++? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys there.